Comparing and ordering fractions on a number line. You're watching this film, so you've probably already compared fractions with different denominators by using fraction strips to show size order. And maybe you found it takes quite a bit of time, care and effort with a ruler to make each fraction strip. Another way you can compare fractions is to make a number line, a single line that contains all the info from a bunch of fraction strips. You just know that's going to be so much faster. Let's do one. We have to use a number line to put these fractions in order from greatest to least. When we compare fractions, the first thing we always do is check the denominators. 2 and 3 are factors of 6, so the number line can be 6 centimetres long. Let's just move these aside. To make a number line, you have to use a ruler. I measure exactly 6 centimetres for my number line. I mark 0 at the left side and 1 at the right side. My fractions will fit between these two points. They are all less than one whole. I like to do the biggest denominator first. I bring up my ruler and along the top edge of the line I mark every centimetre. Each mark is one sixth of the whole line. And Here's five sixths. I mark it clearly. On the bottom edge of the line, I'm going to mark thirds. The whole line is six centimetres and six divided by three is two. So each third is two centimetres wide. And here's two thirds. Again, mark it very clearly. And I still have to show one half, but I've used both edges of the number line. I've used the top edge for an even denominator and the bottom edge for the odd denominator. So now what I do is use a different colour. This helps me focus on what I'm doing with the colour right now. Half of six is three and here's one half. Maybe you're thinking, what if I don't have a different colour? Well, not a problem. Instead, you can just make a longer pencil mark so that it looks different from the other marker on the top edge for five sixths. Making marks that look different stop confusion when you look at the number line. With this approach, you could easily stack four, five or six fractions on a number line. OK, now we have to list the fractions in order from greatest to least. So start big and go small. Don't mess it up at this last step. First, we write the fractions. Look at the number line. The greatest fraction we marked is 5 sixths. Then it's 2 thirds. Then 1 half. Finally, we use the greater than sign to show our understanding. 5 sixths is greater than two thirds, which is greater than one half. A number line is a great tool for comparing fractions and you will have to use it in exams. You need to get comfortable creating your own number line as well as using one that's been made for you. The way to success is by being accurate. So please never sketch a number line or guess it. Always use a ruler. Then the size order of the fractions is absolutely clear. And now it's your turn to work your math muscle. You're going to create your own number line with a ruler to compare and order fractions for yourself. Next time I'll show you another method that's even faster than this. You're going to like it.